Uh, first thoughts on uh, just picking up the win here today. Well, look, winning games in college soccer is not easy, and I thought we played well for a large part of the game. We got the lead and maybe stopped playing a little bit. Could be a little better managing the game, but Bowling Green, they're 6-2-1, and one, so they're, they're a good team, and we knew they were going to come. And uh, it's tough coming off of a big game uh, in front of 7500 Friday night, and then here on a midweek Wednesday, those, those games are tough. So credit to our guys. We didn't give up any goals. We scored a great goal, great little combination from Santala to, to uh, Giuseppe and then, and then Sarakowski, so good result. The energy coming out of the second half seemed to be really there. I mean, not that you guys didn't have your, your chances in the first half, but seemed to really be you know, executing and being a little bit more efficient. Uh, anything you can kind of pinpoint on, on why that might be the case? Yeah, I thought we, we possessed the ball good in the first half, but we didn't possess to look to get in behind and be dangerous. And we said, hey, you move the ball to, to get in behind and be dangerous. So we eventually we were able to do that, and that, that started to unlock some things and got them on their, on their heels. And so it was good. It was good. Just the uh, the finish there was a little bit chippy, uh, you know. Obviously dealing with a team looking to, to get a goal and maybe trying to get in, you know, the heads of your guys. Just what did you kind of tell them, just you know, after the game to to make sure that, you know to keep your heads in check, you know, when a team is maybe trying to get in your head a little bit. Yeah, well, you, I think you just you always got to look out for each other. But you got to be smart because there's always another game to play, and whatever the result is at the end of the game, you can't change. I mean, Eric at Bowling Green does a great job. I just think it was kind of a perfect storm. We we've never had any issues with them, and nor I expect to in the future. They're very class class team it was just one of those things where there was a questionable call at the end and a lot of emotions and it just kind of all steamrolled together and then picking up the win here going you know Ohio State I think was the next game for you guys uh, just uh, what does it kind of mean to get this win here this point in the season picking up steam yeah, in the you, mid part of the year we just need some momentum and I think anytime you lose a game you want to get back on the winning the winning streak and uh, the winning train so we did that we played well and lost to Maryland but we just want to get a win and get some confidence and you know, Ohio State's a tough place to play. All the Big Ten games, they're, they're one or two goal games. Uh, so this helps us prepare for that as well because most likely it'll be another one, two goal game. That's soccer. Another shout out for Haig. Uh, how big is a part has it been for the upperclassmen to be playing on the back line and to have uh, Haig in goal? Well, I think you just see Haig growing with confidence each game. And, uh, you know, he didn't get a shout out Maryland, but he played great. Um, our back line's starting to get good. good. And, and Honestly, it's the all 11 players that are and the subs that came in and how we defended well and Ryan Sarakowski works and Giuseppe and the, I thought Sintala was special today. People don't give enough credit, but he won the ball. He played the ball with like the second assist and him and Pimlot were very solid controlling it. So all those guys together is working hard is why we're, we're getting shutouts. Does having an experienced backline like that, does that kind of benefit players like Michael who have come through and they're starting out first year in the program? Yeah, certainly having Connor who played a lot of minutes last year, obviously Dewey and Fiscus and then Michael's been very good. It's easy to plug one guy in and not, not lose a beat. It's harder to plug two or three young guys in. And so um, I think that's given some Jimmy Haig some confidence and now he's playing with confidence and we're, we're getting going. Anything else, Coach? All right, thanks for the